what is the tooth movement that is being exhibited here that is in this image what we see is that there is a bend which is given in the wire okay and they are asking us that what is the tooth movement that is going to be expressed by this bend now the various types of bends that were given in the wire were initially given during the standard edgewise technique which did not have any bracket prescription so all the tip and talk values that are seen in the natural dentition had to be incorporated into the wires by giving bends which were then expressed onto the tooth okay so now these uh, bends are no longer really used because most of the prescription is already in the bracket which is why we have the straight wire appliance and the modern or the contemporary mbd prescription also that we use already have the tip and talk values incorporated into the bracket so most of the wire bending that is required uh, that was required initially for the standard edgewise is now no longer required however some minor wire bendings are still given in order to bring about minor tooth position correction especially during the finishing stages where you don't want to reposition the brackets okay so individual tooth position corrections can still be done by giving bends in the wire now what are the different types of bends that were given so there was something known as first order second order and third order bends so first order bends are also known as in out bends because they were given in order to compensate for the buccolingual prom prominences of certain teeth for example the lateral incisor is slightly lingually placed as compared to the buck, uh, the canine and the central incisor so the buccal surfaces of the canine and central incisor is slightly more prominent than the buccal surface of the lateral incisor so this is what is known as the lateral inset so in order to compensate for these buccolingual prominences of teeth these horizontal bends were given in order to uh, compensate for these differences okay so these are known as in out bends because they run from the buccal to the lingual direction okay so they are given in the horizontal direction then is something known as the second order bends now the second order bends are very versatile bends and they can bring about uh, many different types of uh, changes for example they can be used for anchorage that's why they are also known as anchor bends they are uh, also known as v bends tip back bends or artistic positioning bends so they basically are bends which are given in the vertical direction and they help to bring about a mesiodistal inclination or uprighting of teeth okay so the what the bends look like okay is something like this when you are giving it to bring about a uh, correction of the mesiodistal inclination of teeth so here you can see that this central incisor's mesiodistal inclination is looking correct but this central incisor could do with a little more correction or uprighting right so the inclination of this tooth could be uprighted a bit so this mesiodistal uprighting of tooth can be brought about by giving this vertical bend which is going to push this tooth down uh, mesially and up distally which is going to correct the inclination of this tooth okay so this tooth is basically tipping in the mesiodistal direction okay there is a mesiodistal tipping or uprighting of tooth okay that's why so the second order bends are very versatile and they have various different types of names like anchor bends tip back bends v bends artistic positioning bends etc and they are given in the vertical direction then we come to the third bend which is also known as the talk bend so in the talk bend this is basically given to express the talk so to bring about correction in the root position of the tooth okay so here this is done by placing a twist in the wire so this is this was in the horizontal direction this is in the vertical direction now this is brought about by twisting the wire so here you see the wire is going into the slot uh, straight when you have to give a torque bend you are going to twist the wire like this so that when the wire is engaged into the bracket the wire, the bracket is also going to ex, uh, experience that twisting motion of bringing about correction of the torque of the tooth now here we have seen that this is a type of a second order bend because this is a bend that is given in the vertical direction and again this is given to bring about the mesiodistal uprighting of the tooth right so this kind of a tooth movement is a tipping tooth movement where the tooth is tipping mesiodistally and so this is going to uh, push this tooth this way right so it is going to bring about a tipping motion and not a bodily movement or a talking movement or a rotation movement a talking movement would be brought about when if there was a twist in the arch wire which can again not be appreciated from the frontal view like this